How's it going guys, Phil here, and this is a review for the Ember 6 ounce Smart Mug. Thank you to Best Buy for sending me this product for free to try. You'll receive the Smart Mug, Charging Base, Power Adapter, and a User Guide. This is the mug. It measures 3 and a quarter inches tall and has a 3 inch diameter and an interior depth of 2 inches. Since the bottom half of the base is occupied by the battery, heating element, and internal circuitry. The maximum capacity of the mug is 6 fluid ounces. The cup has a minimalist, smooth, handleless design. On the front is the Ember logo. This warning sticker cautions against placing the mug in the microwave, as this may damage the electronics inside. And underneath is where the gold charging contact rings and power button are located. The sticker on the back states to charge the mug fully before first use, which takes 2-3 to three hours. To do so, you need the charging base coaster, which is 4 and a quarter inches in diameter and about half an inch tall. On the bottom is a rubber pad to keep the unit from sliding around. At the back is the charging port for the included adapter. This sticker cautions against leaving liquid in the saucer, as this may damage the two charging pins. What's neat about this charging method is that it doesn't matter how you set the mug down in the base, since the two pins will always have contact with each of the charging rings, no matter which direction it faces. When you place the powered off mug in the base, the LED below the logo on the mug will illuminate in pulse red to indicate that it's charging. When the unit is fully charged, the LED turns a solid green. Then to turn the mug on, short press the power button on the bottom and the LED will start flashing white intermittently. To set the holding temperature of the mug, you will need to download and install the Ember app to a mobile device. Then press and hold the power button for 5 seconds to activate Bluetooth pairing, indicated by a quickly flashing blue light. In the app, tap add a new device and it should find the Ember cup automatically. You will need to register an account or sign in, and then you can choose a personalized color for the LED on the front. This is so you can tell the difference between your mug and the mugs of others if you have multiple mugs in your household. Then whenever the mug is picked up, it will quickly flash this color, so you'll know who it belongs to. If there is a firmware update available, a pop-up will appear and this usually takes only a couple minutes to complete. The mug can sense when it's empty, and will not activate the heating element if there's no liquid in it, but you can still set your target temperature by moving the slider at the bottom of the screen from 120 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 50 to 62.5 degrees Celsius. In the settings, you can change the LED color and its brightness from dim to bright. You can also set your temperature units to Fahrenheit or Celsius, and enable or disable notifications. To use your mug, press the power button to make sure it is on. Then simply fill it with your hot beverage of choice, like coffee or tea. Here, my coffee is starting at about 155 degrees Fahrenheit. In the app, tap the picture of the mug to pair with it, and you can see that it's reading the current temperature at around 153-52 degrees Fahrenheit. The screen is red, indicating that it's above the max temperature range of the device, so even if I move the temperature slider all the way to the right, the heating element won't activate. So let's cool my drink down a bit with some cold milk. I'm stirring with a wooden spoon here, because using metal in the mug could damage the finish. Now the temperature is just around 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which the app also reflects. Here, the heater is set to off, so let's set it to 135 degrees Fahrenheit, and see how long it takes to get there. You can see the LED on the mug is flashing white now, indicating that it's warming up, and you can also see the temperature in the app going up. On average, it took about 25 seconds to raise the temperature 1 degree, so it only took about 4 minutes to reach my target temperature. The app displays a pop-up here to let me know that the drink is ready. When I go to check with my instant read thermometer though, the reading in the app was about 4 to 5 degrees off from it, so your mileage may vary. However, when I went to take a sip of the coffee, it was still plenty hot and enjoyable. Of course, if it's too hot or too cold, you can adjust the slider to suit your tastes. Be aware that if you do set the target temperature lower than the current temperature, the mug doesn't actively cool the liquid. It simply turns off the heater and lets it cool down naturally. Once the temperature falls below your target by a few degrees, it will turn the heater back on to maintain the temperature. For me, I found the ideal drink temperature to be between 125 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit, as it's still pleasantly hot but not enough to scald you when you take a sip. 
Note that if the mug is placed on the charging saucer and actively maintaining the temperature of your drink, the battery won't increase in charge until the cup is emptied or powered off. There's also a 2 hour inactivity auto shutoff while sitting in the base that can be reset by simply picking up the mug and putting it back on the charger. To turn the mug off, press and hold the power button until the LED slowly fades out. The mug is fully waterproof, so you can wash it by hand with a soft sponge or cloth. It's not dishwasher safe though. Just be sure to fully dry it with a cloth before setting it back on the saucer for charging. The other thing to keep in mind is that your beverage needs to already be semi-warm in order for it to work effectively. This mug is not designed to heat up cold beverages efficiently, and in fact, the heater won't automatically kick on unless the starting temperature of your drink is at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit, though you can turn it on manually by changing the holding temperature in the app. Overall, the Ember Cup is a decent warming mug that will keep your beverage at your favorite temperature for at least 90 minutes if you pick it up and walk away from the charging base, or hold the temperature indefinitely while in the charging base as long as you pick it up for a sip once every 2 hours. The capacity of this model is small though, at only 6 ounces, but the advantage is that your beverage will heat up quickly, and it doesn't use a lot of energy to do so. If you prefer a larger size, Ember also has mugs with 10, 12, and 14 ounce capacities, and additional charging bases can be purchased separately, which are compatible with all the Ember mug models, so you can have multiple places in your home where you can set your mug down to charge or stay warm. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.